Hello everybody, yeah. welcome to Armano. Today I am with Tanar Chundar Bhavan who became first in island rank. He, he got 3A and he became first in all island. This thing happened after 15 years. I, I remember in 2005, Myron got 3A in maths. So nearly after 15 years, he got 3A. It's a great story. So he has a lot of story to tell us. So I'm with uh, curiosity, I came here and I met him. He's a very humble, simple man. He's like a normal person, no proud, nothing. He's just very simple person. I'm glad to meet this simple person. And I'm going to ask some questions from him. Hello, Sundarban. Nice to meet you. All right. So uh, I'm here to ask you some questions and how, tell me about your success and what is behind this story and who helped you and how did you manage to uh, get three years. It's not a, an easy thing. Even getting three years in bio or mass stream is really hard. You have to study a lot. But you got three years and became island first. Did you already target it or just happened? Or what efforts you put? Tell me something about it. Uh, my name is Tanaraj Sundar Bhavan. I studied at uh, Chao Zed in the college. Uh, this victory came because of my parents, teachers and my friends. And they motivated me uh, to do this. Uh, but I had small doubt on this, but uh, they always say, uh, says uh, I will become island first. Uh, but I, uh, that uh, thing really motivated uh, me to do this. And I, uh, the, at this time, I wanted to uh, thank them all uh, to achieve, uh, to motivate me to achieve this. And... Uh, right. So, um, did you pass scholarship and how was your primary education did you get good marks in mathematics from childhood tell me something about your primary school experience uh, since grade 5 i got interested in mathematics uh, at the time also i studied at uh, anboli uh, uh, a private institution, a private institution. Uh, they are also i get uh, 100 marks for maths and uh, uh, in secondary education in grade 8, I went to Indonesia for Mathematics Olympiad competition and that uh, motivated me to, uh, that uh, inspiration makes me to study uh, maths in a, a advanced level uh, and also maths is very uh, easy for me, that helps me to uh, achieve this. Right, good. So, who was your primary maths teacher? Do you remember any mathematical teachers who inspired you in the childhood to do mathematics? Uh, uh, first, uh, uh, Anboli, Anboli uh, private institution, uh, Sir uh, Anbalagan uh, help, uh, is my first inspiration for mathematics. Uh, s uh, now he is passed away. I am really worried about that. And then in grade uh, 6, 7, uh, Mr. S uh, Sudhagar uh, taught me, um, he is my class teacher and my math teacher. He's uh, an, another inspiration for me. And grade 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, Mr. Subhas Tav Supramaniam, he's my uh, my new class teacher. He also very uh, different uh, person. Helps me to go to Olympiad uh, in uh, international level. And other teachers uh, taught me in uh, Olympiad classes. Uh, I, uh, Seven Nation sir, Vadmanan sir, and uh, many of them. I really wanted to thank them all to achieve this. And in AL advanced level, my school math teacher, uh, Sir Kumanan Sir, and my uh, I studied at BCM Institute Mathematics, uh, uh, Mr. Ravindran Sir, and uh, I studied physics at uh, Kumanan Sir and chemistry day, sir. They are also are different persons. They are talented uh, okay. teachers. They help me to do this. Right, good. Uh, it's a great story. So. Um, from childhood, parents think like my son should become a doctor or engineer here, right? So did your parents uh, tell you that you should become an engineer from childhood? Or you choose yourself that I should choose match stream in A-level? So who, who motivated you to take match stream in A-level? You choose your, yourself or your parents motivated? I choose myself because uh, maths, uh, I, in primary education and secondary education, it's very is it for me that's why i am took uh, uh, mathematics in nail stream uh, and 
uh, that uh, maths is very easy for me I, than other subjects. Uh, that's why I am choose mathematics right. in A-level. So what is your ambition? So once you pass maths and uh, you can become an engineer, but engineer means there are different, different types of engineer, right? So what is your goal? How do you see yourself after 10 years in life? Uh, I wanted to become an engineer uh, like electrical or electronics, uh, something like that uh, related. And I then I wanted to want to uh, uh, serve our country because uh, our country is very and a growing country. I wanted to serve them more. Your sister also got to uh, be in BioStream. So tell me about uh, did you study with your sister together? Did she inspire you? Did she help you? Do you do group study? Went to same classes? Like that? yes, uh, she also second uh, took second side. Uh, and we uh, to uh, discuss our problems and she also helps me, I also helps her. Uh, that's uh, very uh, helpful for me, absolutely. Uh, yes, what a proud parents must be because uh, one engineer and one doctor, two a B daughter, son got three A. And <laughs> it was like, I just came to meet him but then got to know that his sister also got two A B in BioStream in second side and she's also going to become a doctor in future. It's a great success story. So what message would you like to give those who have failed AL exam this time and those who got just three simple pass in A level? It's just an results, uh, A, B, C like that. Uh, you uh, don't have to worry about that. Uh, persons who got uh, three years also have become uh, an, another uh, achieve, uh, uh, can make many achievements in their future. Uh, but uh, if I got uh, three years in Island first, uh, 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 we can absolutely say that we, I am, will be an achiever in future, but I uh, have to work hard for my achievement in future. Uh, also, you can uh, put your works, put your hard work uh, on your on your field, and uh, you can become an achiever in future. You don't worry about that. Thank you, boy, for meeting you.